of a little boy named Theo. He woke up one morning and asked his mother, Mom, what if there were no black people in the world? Well, his mother thought about that for a moment and said, Son, follow me around today and let's see what it would be like if there were no black people in the world. Mom said, now go get dressed and we'll get started. Theo ran into his room, put on his clothes and his shoes. His mother took one look at him and said, Theo, where are your shoes? And those clothes are all wrinkled. Son, I must iron them. However, when she reached for the ironing board, it was no longer there. You see, Sarah Boone, a black woman, invented the ironing board, and Jan Metzlinger, a black man, invented the shoe-lasting machine. Oh well, she said, please go and do something to your hair. Theo ran into his room to comb his hair, but the comb was not there. You see, Walter Sammons, a black man invented the comb. Theo decided to just brush his hair, but the brush was gone. Hmm, you see, Lydia O. Newman, a black female, she invented the brush. Well, this was a sight. No shoes, wrinkled clothes, hair a mess, even mom's hair. Without hair care inventions of Madam C.J. Walker, well, you get the picture. Mom told Theo, let's do our chores around the house and then take a trip to the grocery store. Theo's job was to sweep the floor. He swept and he swept and he swept. He reached for the dustpan. It was not there. You see, Lloyd P. Ray, a black man, invented the dustpan. So he swept his pile of dirt over in the corner and he left it there. He then decided to mop the floor. But guess what? The mop was gone. You see, Thomas Stewart, a black man, invented the mop. Theo yelled to his mom, Mom, I'm not having any luck. Well, son, she said, let me finish washing these clothes. We'll prepare a grocery list for the store. When the wash finished, she went to place the clothes on the dryer. But guess what? It was not there. You see, George T. Salmon, a black man, invented the clothes dryer. Mom and Theo went to get a pencil to prepare a paper list for the market. So Theo ran for the paper and pencil, but noticed that the pencil lid was broken. Well, he was out of luck because John Love, a black man, invented the pencil sharpener. Mom reached for a pen, but it was not there because William Purvis, a black man, invented the fountain pen. As a matter of fact, Lee Burridge invented a typewriter machine and W.A. Lovett the advanced printing press. Theo and his mother decided, let's just head out to the market. Well, when Theo opened the door, he noticed the glass was as high as was tall. You see, John Burr, a black man, invented the lawnmower. They made their way over to the car and found it just wouldn't go. You see, Richard Spikes, a black man, invented the automatic gear shift. And Joseph Gamble invented the supercharged system for internal combustion engines. They also noticed that a few cars were moving and running into each other, were having wrecks because there were no traffic signals. You see, Garrett A. Morgan, a black man, invented the traffic light. Well, it was getting late. 
So they walked to the market, got their groceries, and returned home. Just when they were about to put away the milk, eggs, and butter, they noticed that the refrigerator was gone. You see, John started a black man invented the refrigerator, so they just left the food on the counter. By this time, Theo noticed he was getting mighty cold. Mom went to turn up the heat, and what do you know? Alice Parker, a black female, invented the heating furnace. Even in the summertime, they would have been out of luck because Frederick Jones, a black man, invented the air conditioner. It was almost time for Theo's father to arrive home. He usually takes a bus, but there was no bus because its precursor was the electric trolley, invented by another black man, Albert R. Robinson. He usually takes the elevator from his office on the 20th floor, but there was no elevator because Alexander Miles, a black man, invented the elevator. He also usually dropped off the office at a mailbox near, but it was no longer there because Philip Downing, a black man, invented the letter drop mailbox and William Berry invented the postmarking and canceling machine. Theo and his mother sat at the kitchen table with their heads in their hands. When the father arrived, he asked, why are you sitting in the dark? Why? Because Lewis Howard Latimer, a black man, invented the filament for a light bulb. Theo quickly learned about what it would be like if there were no black people in the world, especially if he were ever sick and needed blood. Dr. Charles Drew, a black scientist, found a way to preserve and store blood, which led to his starting of the world's first blood bank for the entire world. Well, what if a family had to have heart surgery? This would not have been possible without Dr. Daniel Hale Williams, a black doctor who performed the first open heart surgery. So if you ever wonder, like Theo, where would we be without black people? Well, it's pretty plain to see. We would still be in the dark.